I I don't see it as competition actually. I see it as okay. a, as an opportunity for people to grow and a lot of content to you know uh, be curated. And I I think we have to give it to OTT platform. There are, there are so many stories being told and it gives an opportunity to, for every like to everybody for them to tell their story. So I I see it as a growing space where you where it's liberating almost of course where you can experiment so much and there's so much potential for you every single day. For me, for Tanya, it's very important to experiment and to grow. I do not want to get comfortable with anything. So I keep striving to move into like to move towards something that makes me uncomfortable and which makes me at the end of the day proud that I did. I made that choice and I put myself in that position which makes me vulnerable, which makes me feel scared. But at the same time, gets me all excited and worked up. So I mean, that is something that I would want for myself, no matter if I did get some sort of recognition. Hello everyone, welcome to peepingmoon.com. I'm Rashita Sahani and today joining me for a pretty fun chat is, if I may call her Bollywood's next suitable girl, Tanya Manektala, who's all set to impress us all again in her upcoming project, Hootspa. Hi Tanya, how have you been? Hi, thank you so much for the kind introduction. I have been all right, how are you? (laughs) I'm good too. In fact, um, just recently I watched the trailer of Futspa. It looks really fun and quirky. So you tell me a little more about it. So Futspa is a story that uh, is all about the digital world that we live in. It yeah. is a story that heroes the internet in the you know in in a form that we see it now. And uh, we've come a long way when it comes to the internet. So now we live, eat, breathe on the internet as opposed to what was earlier on. It was just a part of life. Now the internet has taken over and this digital space that we're living in is what Kutspa is all about. And these, uh, it's an anthology of stories basically where each story sort of, you know, intersects with the other one in a way where the internet obviously is a, is a common point and is our meeting point. So the story that I am in is a story about this couple, Shikha and Vikas, who are in a long distance relationship and how this couple who... Um, is so used to being in close proximity with each other now you know sort of champions through uh, the digital space and mm-hmm. they're trying to make it work to the highs and the lows of all of it and it's a very sweet uh, relative I think a, a lot of people would be able to relate to it especially with the world that we are in now and with COVID uh, we are all locked up in our houses and we have nothing but a screen to look to and be it uh, our lover, be it our family member, whoever, we are uh, looking at them through a screen. So the screen that we are on uh, constantly is what Hootspa is all about. It's uh, it's wired, wired as in, uh, it's, it's a juxtapose of things. So you'll see the, uh, the dark and the, you know, the bright side of the internet all in one. Okay, that's fantastic. And, uh, you know, Maddox has been creating such good content. Like, I think they are out there doing all these fun, quirky things, which no one else is thinking of. So you tell me, do you think Hootspa is also going to, you know, join the list of content that Maddox has successfully made? Because I think all their projects, they all have been a hit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And that is why I had such belief in this project. I mean, I have known the director and I've worked with him prior to Putspa as well. And I do believe in his vision. But uh, obviously the name, uh, the production house backing it, uh, Maddox, you know, you expect, you can expect a, a sort of, you know, a credibility from them. Their body of work speaks for uh, their, the name that they've lived, they've lived up to it. And Putspa is definitely one of a kind. You've, I don't think it's ever been explored before. And Maddox, you can, you know, sort of, they lie that uh, that they will they will make a, a unique something unique out of a concept that you know is talked about so much and you never would have imagined that um, a show being shot in a space that where the other actor is not really there so you are actually left talking to a screen and just that so it's a very unique concept a quirky concept and I think it's been done very well it was a seamless shoot through and through despite all the challenges that we had. You know, COVID being there. Yeah. 
uh, being responsible for everybody on set, being responsible for these whole, like different stories being told in the best way possible. I think I think the team did a brilliant job. That's great, and uh, you know it's just your you are just beginning and it's one of your few uh, big like first projects so earlier we saw actresses used to go this conventional way and you know choose scripts that everyone expected them to but now we see so many actors and actresses are breaking through stereotypes and selecting such content like hutspa so has it been a conscious choice or has it naturally happened with you because even a suitable boy was something which was uh, commendable i'm glad uh, my choices are being uh, appreciated uh, but it is also the kind of content that i would like to watch so tana as a consumer dictates tana the actor so the kind of uh, show that i would want to watch and think that oh i would love to be a part of it is something that i would go for so it's, I, i think it is also a conscious choice but uh, i'm lucky that i've had these projects coming my way so one of the few reasons i think that uh, people are sort of put in that stereotype is because the kind of content being created is such so now in the wake of covid in the wake of this lockdown that we've been having there there are like a lot of you know strange unique concepts coming up and i think it's all thanks to that i mean people who conceptualize it i mean mrig sir and uh, simma sir who thought of this i have to thank them for this because had they not come up with this idea i don't think uh, a lot of people would have thought about it and uh, so it's it's really the writing of it all and i would want to keep playing roles that uh, put me in a space that makes me uncomfortable of sorts but also gives the audience something new to look forward because the same thing gets repetitive for me as well and i'm sure and uh, what about working in a multi star so uh, you know just yesterday i asked this to elnaz as well uh, that she is a co star and you are working with varun manju with elnaz all of you are working in the show together uh, does it ever become challenging uh, to you know sort of create an impact or leave your own uh, you know impact in a show or a film when it's a multi star for you i'm asking uh i i don't think i ever see it from that point of view actually because okay. for me my job is to play the character that i have been assigned to its full full potential and justify okay. the story that i am a part of so even though it's an anthology where every story is complete in its own and unique in its own flavor uh they do intertwine and yeah i mean i i've never seen it like that that i have to make an impact in my own you know unique story because for me i do my job well I think the audience uh, would receive it, and it's up to them. I can't decide for them if they like my part or not. So whoever they relate to most, I think, I think that is what leaves an impression, isn't it? That when we when we watch something, it's either the relatability of it or it's the uniqueness of it that makes mm-hmm. it uh, makes a makes makes a lasting impression. So I think I just do my job and I try and do it well, and the rest I leave it up to the audience. so the trailer also talks about uh, you know trolling uh, and how public figures and famous people have to go through it on the internet i feel personally that actors have to go through it much more than any other famous person because of course they are celebrities and they are out there doing their jobs how do you deal with it i luckily haven't had that much of trolling <laughs> now we i'm very very lucky um but um whatever little bit that i've had I think um, people have the right to their own opinion. Then, if you want to make fun of something, that is fine too. I mean, I have learned to take it in good humor. But yes, there was a point uh, when I was just starting where I wouldn't take it as well, and I would take it so much. Like I would get so affected by things and like the comments I would read online, and I would just you know get into that space where it wasn't healthy for me. And with time, with my friends, like with the little bit of experience that I've had now, I've learned that um, if you I get so much love, and if I still choose to concentrate on the few like trolls or few comments that I get here and there, then I am doing something wrong. It's 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 not it's not the the trollers' fault or anything because out of all the lovely comments that I'm getting, I choose to focus on that. Mm-hmm. So it's a way of life that I'm trying to you know work towards that. Uh, I don't I don't want to get it let it get to me. I want to ignore it completely. I do think about it still. but uh, if it's something i can rectify i would do that if it's something that's beyond my control i mean there's no point fucking over it 
definitely agreed and uh, you know hutspa as a title is such a unique name and you know mm-hmm. a lot of people including me uh, we got to know the meaning and the true sense of it after you know the show was announced so you tell me what is hutspa for you for me hutspa um, is this feeling of the audacity of it all i feel yeah so that it's it's um, the bravado that is associated yeah. with anything that you do it's the it's it's sort of a, i don't know it's because it's this word you know it it encapsulates so much it's difficult for me to attribute it to one particular thing but it for me largely hutspa is a way of life it's it's the way you put yourself out there it's um, it's fun it's spirited it's crazy it's wild hutspa is everything <laughs> <laughs> agreed completely and uh, you know the web space now it has amazing content to offer of course with the cinema halls being shut currently that's the only space we have but earlier i remember we used to take web space as a little uh, easy breezy kind of a thing that you know yahan yahan pe itna competition nahi hota hai but uh, do you think now the competition is also increasing i i don't see it as competition actually i see it as okay. a, as an opportunity for people to grow and a lot of content to you know uh, be curated and i i think we have to give it to ott platforms there are mm-hmm. there's so many stories being told and gives an opportunity to for every like to everybody for them to tell their story so i i see it as a growing space where you where it's liberating almost of course where you can experiment so much and there's so much potential for you every single day Okay. okay nice what a positive way to look at look at it okay and you, um tanya feels like ishq and hutspa both are releasing on the same day how do you feel about it because earlier it was like a uh, very rare that an actor was clashing with herself uh-huh. with her own you know show off film so how do you feel about that uh i am very very excited if you can't tell by my smile uh it i yeah. it's uh, it's a wonderful i mean i am so so lucky that to have had this day coming to me that two of my projects that i have felt so strongly about both releasing on the same day on different platforms so i see it as an opportunity for uh, to you know engage with the larger audience now and uh i it's not a clash actually at all it's me and me so yeah, yeah. i am just very very excited about how the audience is going to receive both of these characters because both of them are so unique in it in themselves and the stories they're so like different and set apart from each other so i think the uh, i think audience is going for a ride with seeing tanya as tanya was in lata and now meher and shikha that's great <laughs> and uh, you know you of course won had the opportunity to win a bafta breakthrough award and uh, after that do you feel of course it's a reassurance and uh, it's a very big achievement for an actor like you but do you feel that with it there is like sort of an increased uh, responsibility on your shoulders because now people expect a certain kind of you know content from you or you being a part of certain kind of project Uh, so yes i was very very lucky to have received the bafta honorary i was one of the 10 members to get it and it was the first breakthrough program in india so uh, it is a, a matter of pride for me and uh, i am just uh, i do agree i mean it is a sense like a pressure of sorts where i i i think it's more from me than from anybody else because now i have sort of imagined in my head that people expect a lot more from me, me now even though no, nobody has come up to me and told me that i have sort of you know applied that to myself that okay now i have i have set up like a standard for myself and i have to only increase but i think that the validation feels great and recognition from bafta is a uh, i mean i am overwhelmed by it but um, also i mean had i not received it also i think uh, a part of me I, I think as an actor in any profession, you try to become greater and better with each day, right? So that is the same here as well. I mean, the choices I make speak to me, and if the audience yeah. does not, I mean, uh, they do not connect with it. I do understand their point of view as well. But uh, as for me, for Tanya, it's very important to experiment and to grow. I do not want to get comfortable with anything. So I. keep striving to move into like to move towards something that makes me uncomfortable and which makes me at the end of the day proud that i did i made that choice and i put myself in that position which makes me 
vulnerable, which makes you feel scared, but at the same time gets me all excited and worked up. So I mean, that is something that I would want for myself, no matter if I did get some sort of recognition or not. I am sure. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Tanya, for chatting with me. All the very best for Hutspa. And lastly, I would just like to tell you that you are very beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I was, I was wanting to tell this to you, but I was like, let the interview end and I'll tell that to you. Oh, thank you so much. It's very sweet. Yeah, You're most welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Bye.